I'm not a young blonde baby, oh, and, I'm, yeah, and I'm not a virgin, but neither oh. are you, either one. Yeah, but you know what you are. Hey, hey, you know what you are. Oh, I want to tell you And usually, Roy and Junior, usually they Roy have. Junior, I hate to tell you, you're chain smoking in my face, and you're going to get cancer, and please, don't get me Hey, I have to say something. Come back here and suck my oh. And I'll guarantee you she has one. Ozzy Osbourne, I think it's called Suicide Solution. <laughs> Do you? Then this is, you, you talk about parents not being able to intervene. Can I give you a little bit of information about this song? Yeah. The key, key line is um, about drowning your sorrows, because this is an anti-alcohol song. Ozzy Osbourne, Ozzy Osbourne is a man Ozzy Osbourne is a man who's had a serious drug my, and alcohol problem, is, and he is trying to say that alcohol is no solution. It's a suicide solution. No. Once it's published, no. Anything. You would let kids, pedophilia, kids having sex, you'd allow that with adults? <laughs> to be published yeah. once it's there. If it's published, it's would you little, allow it? Mort, it's a little late would in the day. Would you allow it? Yes. You're oh. a pig. <laughs> You're absolutely wrong. It's the safest herbicide that we got in the whole world. Then it's been used by 90 countries on all kinds of plants. Now, you know what it does to the cannabis plant? I'll tell you, if you want to listen, okay? No, you, know what, what does, does it do to it? the cannabis plant? But so what? Wait, wait a minute. So what? So what? So, That's so your they argument, spray idiot. Paraquat on marijuana it's the plant. cheapest way so to get what? rid of the crap. Well, okay? I'm good telling, luck. No, a I'm challenge. We will come back. You know. We will come back in two or three years, Look. and we will see how much marijuana is Let grown in the U.S. and the how much they've been place. able to spray. First of all, it's biodegradable. Do you know what that means? It is not biodegradable. It is not. There it is. Sit down, you dummy. 98.8% of the residue burns off from the ignition temperature, okay? So, oh, yes, it does. Hey, hello, anybody home up there? Hey. Besides, Ed, oh, wait a second, that. I want to ask him a question, Otto. Zip it. Tons of fun, Ed, John. Zip Bring it, him Otto. <laughs> I, I feel that the spring of Paraquat on marijuana is chemical warfare upon a human body, and I feel that Edwin Mises Nazi-type tactics upon men, women, children, animals, and vegetation have got to be stopped. And then people like the Reagan administration have got to replace the trough for mass genocide. Because dig it, sir, dig it. You think you can stop marijuana? You've got one thing coming, buddy. You, you come no. down one place no, and come to another. We have thousands of people marching up every first Saturday in May at Fifth Avenue. You're a perfect example of what marijuana. the stuff does to the brain. So we march all over the country. Come on, take you your brain out of neutral. You know what Come they on. are. It's alcohol and tobacco. Get serious. Tobacco use has gone down from 55% to 25%. Because alcohol of education. Use has, alcohol use like has gone down. Why are people like you, down. People like you forcing us to smoke no, no, cancer total, rest? Total, uh, Why do you have the cops coming and checking uh, on what I smoke? I'm not forcing you to do anything. Why are you tobacco on the kids' program? You do what you want. Look at you. Look what you did to yourself. Not a single 
all cancer You're a perfect deaths from example of brain damage. I'm telling oh, you, I feel on. sorry for you. That's just BS. Come on. The cancer on. deaths come from the toxic metal oh, braces in the, in the cars. Name Wait a one. second. How about Name the one, one you I can will. prove, Val? Wait a second. Name one you can prove from death. cigarettes. My grandfather. Poor I watched my grandfather you know kill him for three years. I'm talking about the doctors prove it to you, records after records. You can't name one. Yes, I'll show you where it begins and how people die. The American government itself admits to over a quarter of a million deaths a year from tobacco. Jerry, they can't name go one from the Brush Dakota. your teeth again. <laughs> <laughs> Let me introduce Officer Rogers. All right. Arrest him, Officer. Ed, Ed, before we talk about legalizing pot, I think we ought to talk about legalizing the death penalty for drug pushers in this country. Yeah! We're active Americans. I can do dozens of things while they listen instead yes, of yes, sitting sir. paralyzed yes, in front and of so a tube was, of the vast yes, wasteland. Sir. And so was Plato, and he's dead too, like you. All right. All right. All right. Let me come back. Let me come I back. thought he's into history. He's into history. Do you know you look like a fat Walter Mondale? Thank you very much. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tell me, look at us. Look at us. Am I right? Love. Am I right? Now look around at the audience. Look around and smile. I will. I mean, is that Thank a fat Walter much. Mondale or not? There's I, I thought we got rid of you four years ago. That's, Tom. There's more of me to love, and you are the man with 10,000 teeth. So, so let's proceed with the That's libretto. Right. The bigger to bite your neck was her. You're I'll, a big time, aren't you? I, I'll tell you the I truth. would say, now, way well, I would I'll describe you. Back to page you. one. You are. Back to page one. Don't let that pay. The stuff, the stuff is written up in big enough. This ladies is, this is why Mondale lost. Me. He had to read everything. No, 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 no. Let me your okay, I was well. going to say, I was going to say originally, all right, to the folks to uh, turn off Lester's uh, microphone. Hey! But this is the same thing as turning it off. <laughs> this is the same thing as turning it off. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, Lester. Lester, bye. Bye, bye. We'll be back in just a minute. All right. <laughs> Martin Jr., you got a rap for the people in town. We're in Harlem now, so you got to get down. <laughs> I got to do it in a way that's nice. I don't want to walk out of here with ice. <laughs> Man, when I'm in town, you and me, Biz, gonna get it down. That's right. No, that's right. I'd laugh, pal, because God still loves you even though you're in... That's fine, but this is not a Christian nation. This is a this nation. This is a nation of freedom of religion. That's Are right. you a religion? I agree. Are you a religion? No. Atheist. Then you have no freedom. When I was born, they didn't have that offensive sectarian religious graffiti on our money. And before I go to heaven, Mort, we're going to make sure that's You ain't going to heaven, bruh. He doesn't even realize. He doesn't even realize. He's a Christian now. I baptized this silly son of a bitch. He did, man. That's the best baptizing he's ever going to get. Do you help people? Every do you help the homeless? We sure do. Do you help? You give them money? Yeah, fully. We can no longer sit idly by and allow people to defame God to restrict us from practicing our beliefs. It starts here tonight at the Apollo Theater in Harlem, and it's going to spread across this land. In God we trust. Good night. Black is 15 times more likely to murder a white than a white is to murder a black. That's true. That's the truth. In the United States of America, a black is over 20 times more likely a white woman 
than a white is to rape a black. In the United but States of America, a black is 50 times more likely to rape a white. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. This manufactured facts. Get him out of here. Get Spring out of here. Get him out of here. Get out. Get self-serving statistics that create the problem between all of us. I don't give a damn, Flynn. It's that kind of statistic that creates an inflammatory system among people who want to get together. The media won't let them get together. And like you won't let them get together. What is your solution to heal it? Right, we can all there. attack, man. We can all attack, and let me tell you, yeah, but if, I got gonna, if we get so stupid right. that we end up with a race war, ain't nobody winning except the politicians, all the right? Most high children are going to win. The politicians are not going to win. The children of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Puerto Ricans, and Jamaicans, the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel is going to win because they're going to be the ones that liberate out here. Those are the about, real Jews. How about Christ ain't, ain't no having, white boy. How about let's not worry about who's going to win? How about bringing us it's together? You're talking, man. Bringing it apart. Physical clash between Roy Innes and Reverend Al Sharpton at the Apollo Theater. Well, in a moment, you're going to see it. But first, let me explain events that led up to the fight. On last night's show at the Apollo, which I hope you watched, Sharpton criticized Roy Innes. So I invited Sharpton to come and face Roy Innes. Watch this, please. I have the courage to denounce a black bigot. I think Roy Ennis is no good, and I denounce him. <clears throat> How does it feel to be classified as a bigot after a lifetime of fighting for civil rights? Go ahead. I'm one of the few non-bigoted black leaders rung, I will say. Let me state now. Let's deal with the facts. Let's go to the record. Tonight, we want to deal with the records and the facts. Please do it. On this program, your program, you heard me, you have me in tape defending this man. Recently, even after the shenanigans with him and the other That's soldiers. a lot of crap. Now, look, brother, brother, you have your time. That's a lot of crap. Brother, brother, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Continue with the show. We're going to continue with the show. We're going to be cool. Yeah. We're going to go to a break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Camera. We'll be right back after these lessons. Cool it. I almost, I almost feel like saying welcome back to the wide world of sports. Why have we? question ask a question on a specific thing without giving me a bunch of bull first of all let me say this amateur night at the apollo amateur night at the apollo is wednesday and you can come and try to be a comedian tomorrow night and then in the black race, which is no different. Wait a second, wait a in second. In the black race, wait there's a second. no different. No bad seats in the Irish. <laughs> and, the, and the Irish. Okay? In our race, we have a bad seed. Our bad seed is Roy Ennis. You know? Because why would you disrespect Harlem 
why would you disrespect yourself? Why would you disrespect the black woman in Apollo Theater, you know saying, knowing that the Apollo Theater is owned and run by black? Why would you do that? Why would you push your brother over? Why would you commit a, a vow and 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 and, and of it? Why would you do that, brother? You're too emotional, you're too emotional, you're too hard-headed, you're too stubborn, you're rebellious, and you're a fool, brother. You're a fool, brother. Are you ready now? You're a fool, brother. Uh, yeah. The reason why that happened, brother, uh, the reason why that happened, because unlike most of those panty waist black leaders that Chumps like you intimidate. This is one you can't intimidate. All right? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me You claim. You claim. But I'm finished. You claim I'm finished. All right? I will be in Harlem. I will be in Harlem tomorrow. All those who want to finish me, meet me here. Okay? Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Look on the other Yes, I want to address my remarks to you, Mr. Roy Ennis. I want an apology from you in front of Harlem for assaulting Brother Al Sharpton, who happens to be a reverend. I want an apology from you. What you did behind the stage don't mean we here, we witnessed what took place and we're not having it. Right? Let me tell you. Right. Me and Al Sharpton go a long way back, okay? Me and Al Sharpton, Al Sharpton doesn't need you to pick up his fight. We will settle our differences, all right? But if you have a separate problem, if you have a separate problem, take up your own problem. Another thing, I want you to stop inviting more conflict between the audience and you. You don't really believe that, do you? I believe that we're in a white civil war in this country. Our main problem is with white people who are damn, too damn dumb to fight for what's theirs. Our first fight is not really with black people at all. It's with the white power structure in this country and the Jews that have betrayed us all. Notice, notice he's in Harlem he skirted the issue of Harlem and got to a synagogue. Ain't no synagogues around here, man. Ain't no synagogues around here. Blacks have, blacks have their issues, whites have theirs. The black struggle... I would say basically, black, sir, you the are black picking... struggle is a black struggle. And people with philosophies such as this gentleman should go back to the rock that he crawls from under. suck up to the man if you want to suck up to the man that's a great philosophy it hasn't done too much for you so far and i don't think it's going to help the black race i don't race need anyone future. sucking up to me yeah. pal and the only thing you <laughs> you believe that we're on a different trip in america i mean you eat potato don't chips don't you see that you eat potato don't chips right do you eat potato no, chips it's junk food okay well white eat potato chips the blacks invented the potato chips Poor so now, we, we're all on that. We're all we going to hear about peanut butter, we, too? You'll hear about that and cotton also. Okay. We're all on the same. We all, we you all. You have been cotton? No, we're all Americans here. We all have one issue here to make this country no, of ours great. It so you can you're, shove it up your butt. You're not making butt. it great. People, you're not making it great. The threat of society that's used by the white power structure, the elitist bastards that have sold out us long ago, and they're selling you out, and you're going along with that trip just like him. Oh, yeah? Why can't... You know what the problem is? You know why we hate the white power trip and the black power trip? Because we're not in it as leaders. Are you kidding? We want to take it over what are you so talking that about? everyone runs this it whole down. media not thing is a white, like that's a white power trip to hold... How about let you having a national association for the advancement of America? Why don't you join? <laughs> You're still looking at the conservative motherhood apple pie. That was gone a long time ago when we went off to war and got our people killed by the millions. America died a long time ago, the America you're talking then, about. Sir, if America... People, people like... If America...
America died, Stonewall. Uh, if America died, it's the dead carcass is always eaten upon by maggots, and you're a maggot. <laughs> you feel like a tough war skin? Yeah. Oh, I do my job. Why don't you take a walk down 125th Street, baby? With you with me. What is it you're resisting? What's the point? What's your organization do? We believe in uh, separation of the races for the survival. Black and white separate. That's what we believe in. So when you and say we... black and white separate, do you mean black and white? Do you mean white separate from blacks, from Orientals, from Hispanics? Move all those up. No deals with Move all those up, no, no, right? No. Or Jews, like this one. Or here. Jews. Oh, it's like this one. Aren't you, the guy, aren't you the guy who teaches them how to self-defense yeah, and all that? Right. You're the tough guy, right? Come get him, boy. Right. <laughs> your job, your job, but you're telling me, and it's telling you got your hair cut since I saw yeah. you last time, yeah. huh? You try to look more, more the part, right? Yeah. What is this on your on your hand? Rings. Rings with uh, little things so you can Spike. cut people up, yeah. huh? Uh -huh. You think those are any good when some guy knees you in the nuts? I don't know. All right, more. What's, your what's your organization? What's your organization all about? Uh. <laughs> That's a good one. What's your organization all about? You say separation of rights for life. white people. Mm -hmm. Rights for white people. We don't want this to be a nation of Jews. They're a fan of this guy. You know, two things I notice now. Two of the leading proponents of this, knowing they're in Harlem, are kind of separating out blacks, and you're now going with, as you say, Jews, right? We aren't in Greenwich Village, and we aren't in a synagogue. See, so you're copping out. You're a little nervous, aren't you? A little nervous? Well, look, I want to tell you something. We're growing all over the United States. It's too late to stop us now, and even the feds know it. It's too late. Too late. Too late to stop you now. George, George, let me ask you, what do you make of creeps like this and their little racist organization? They're growing. They're probably up to 10 members. Well, more, <laughs> more, more, the message I have for this idiot over here and for the stage is very simple. It's very simple. We've heard about some of the attacks that they have made on black people. Where? Young black kids, old black women. <coughs> I'm going to say to you, out of respect for your show, we might let them out of Harlem today. But we're going to, but we're, we're going to invite them back. We're going to invite them back. All right. We're yes. going to invite them back to make the same threats against the black people that he's made when he was by himself in some little cage that he came out of. We're going to invite you back to Harlem we, without more protection. We've never, we want we've you never attacked anybody we want over you that. To you know a that's a bunch of Jewish Harlem garbage. Because you we will get your, you, we'll you we'll send you back. We'll send you back, all right. We we never never you. That's, that's a damn lie. You know, know. We never have. Why you you're lucky. Me? You're lucky you're here at Morris Invitation, brother, or you would not get out of Harlem today. I'm picking in my This does nothing. Scum like this. Scum. scum like this. There's no fear. Uh, you, you, you scum like Why this. Put no fear. Shut up. You're rude, also. Uh, scum like this. Pearl comes from one grain of sand, sir. What do you come from? One piece of. <laughs> hey, dear gentleman, a dear friend of mine who you just attacked, Roy Ennis, for the two of us to start a national coalition against all these people and to have blacks and Jews on a national level coincide against hate mongers such as yourself. <laughs> I never attacked Roy Ennis, you What are you talking you about? You can't even speak correctly. Hitler did a lot of good for a lot of people. And you Jews, if you could have got a hold of that, you'd have run that too. And he was have. a just like yeah. you. See? Right. right on. Right on. Sir, let me in. Here's the gentleman. Yeah, and it'll different. Adolf Hitler's is the hero of yours? Yeah. Adolf Hitler's the yeah. hero of yours? I think that's what I said, yeah. You have no idea how many whites he killed, too, do you? 
Look, come to the table if you want to eat. We'll sit down and discuss it on a national level. Yeah, what do I want to eat food? I don't want my food poisoned. If, if you don't come to the table, you won't be able to eat. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. You zip. This is the audience. You zip. Thank you, Martin. Thank you. My name is Paul Miro, and I just want to say one thing to this man right here. You say, white media fella, look around. You, you, with the wig, with the rug. You, all right? You had... No, no. I you, that from him. you, I all right? That. You had the nerve to tell Lord Downey, down. white media, hey, fella, look around, buddy. We got multicolor here, all right? That's number one. And you, you, you dirty son of a bitch, all right? Let me tell you something, all right? Let me tell you something. How come down south you wear the sheets, man? Up in Harlem, you don't. And I, for one, feel offended with the flag on your jacket with the KKK. No, I put right, right here. Because you ain't got the sheets, there. buddy, but your colors are showing. I don't wear the sheets. Come back I'm not in the clan. You are burning. You are burning. I'm a Jew, and I'm proud of it. And it's vicious people like you that are giving the Jewish race and the blacks a bad name. Take and you have to be shot. Take your brother on your chest, and it's coming home to roost to you. It's coming home to roost. Your brother on your chest, and it's coming home to roost. 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 It's coming home you tell me what you want. Six million Jews died in World War II. You're the face that Jews like to see. You're the face that Jews like to see. Oh, uh, directed to you, scumbag, and this lizard face. I want to know why you said y'all in war fighting when we, the brothers down in the front line, getting killed in Vietnam, huh, bitch? A mess, mother. Yeah. Hey, I would like to see that. I'm talking about right now. Yo, shut up. You shut up. I'm talking about getting down. You just shut up. You got nothing. You got nothing. You got nothing. Let me give you. I'll tell you why they don't want to deal with those people. I'm talking. I'll let you talk in a minute. 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 But all I'm concerned with is blacks receive compensation for reparations for 246 years of slave labor that you whites and Jews stole from us. That's what I'm here about. Now, Evo, let me ask you now. We're going to get tough. We're going to go into roots, baby. Wait Let's go into roots. Wait a minute. Let's hear what the white right. man got to say. You want to get You want to get that way? Let's go into roots, all right? First of all, my great-grandfather might have been a... I'm not. I ain't paying for what he did. He's lying in the grave. Uh, first of all, we'll take half of that hundred million you make and leave it in Harlem. <laughs> <laughs> hundred million I make? Baby, when I make it, I'll leave it in we'll Harlem myself. You, Martin Downey, the when hundred million that your when radio make station it, makes, when I we'll make it, take baby, it and leave it I'll in leave Harlem. I'll leave it at the baby grand. We'll you ain't dipping into my you. pockets, you Pop. You you you're not dipping into my pockets. Feisty old, yeah. Me? yeah. You leave it here. Is your separatist movement based on a desire to foster your own heritage, or really is it just a hatred of non-whites? It's not a hatred of non-whites. It's to foster our own our own people, and um, you know it's not based on hatred. It's based on self-survival. Do huh? you love blacks? I love my. Do I? Do I? Excuse me. What, what, you love. Wait, wait, wait. Slip of the tongue, slip of the tongue. Do, the tongue. do you no, love? No, I don't love them. You don't love blacks? No. Do you love Hispanics? No. I, I can respect Do you love the human men. race? Do you love the human race? Do you? Yeah, I love the human race. 
Yeah, I do. You love me? Do I? Yeah, I love you. I love you. Yeah. Okay. I don't have to hate someone because they're different. I don't hate I blacks. Well, do you love them? Do you love them? I love my race, the white race. You see, let me tell you something, Mr. Brock. Yeah. You get pissed as hell if someone called you a black boy. What so I don't thought I ever been go. No, no, no. Not by people with brains. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not by people with brains. You haven't. No, no. I'm not worried about that boy thing. Whatever I call you, that's what you are. If you enslave me for no, two hundred and forty-six years. No, that's what you think I am, pal. That's what you are. I don't. A slave master. That's what you are. A slave master. That's what you are. A slave master. What? 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 I'm not a slave master, yeah. and you're not my slave. Yeah. Master, all right. Yeah. I don't. Just because we're in Harlem, don't think you're gonna frighten me, because I don't go for that That's crap. The right? white boy. The white boy. And the not white boy, me. whether you like it, yeah. likes a black. Oh no, I, I agree with him. No. You see, what you? Hey, pussy face. We'll be back in just a second. Stand by. A black man couldn't even get a piece of. For 240 years, you hear me? Without permission, without permission from the slave master. That's how rough it was. Hey, hey, I must be a slave then, because I can't get a piece of either. <laughs> if what you feel this is justified, then I would be justified as a black man who's frustrated over my freedom to go to the White House and burn it down because black folks are in the poorhouse. You don't, right, you don't live so in pal. Detroit. You're a racist. You don't live in you're Detroit. You're a racist. You're a bigot. You're a racist. You're a bigot. You're a bigot. You're a bigot. You're a bigot. tell me that burning down a crack house where they're selling crack to kids, black or white, and I don't give a damn what it is, when there's 10,000 crack houses in this town and only 12 of them are closed down a day, I would hope that the citizens would take the law into their hands because they have the right to be deputies themselves. You're wrong. They're wrong. Now listen, in Long Island. Now listen, in Long Island. In Long Island. Reverend Al Sharpton called you a bigot on my show. And here's what happened. Let me see the tape. Roll that tape. Even after the shenanigans with him and the other That's soldiers. a lot of crap. Now look, man, brother, you have your time. That's a lot of crap. Brother, and I got brother, brother. Nancy Skinheads on the Raldo show called you an Uncle Tom. And here's what happened there. See, Uncle Tom here. I'm I stuck know, in I'm trying to be a white. No, let me tell you. Hey, you got a kick. You got a kick. You got a kick. Now, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. Let's see if I get into your psyche, into your ear. All your life, as a young man growing up in this country and outside of this country and been into this country, you had to be putting up with being called a And then as you become finally in your mind and your heart and you see what's going on in this country and you see that all people can rise above that, all of a sudden you're called an Uncle Tom. You go through life not really having any race identity at all. Was that the way to fight racism on those two shows? Or is there another way? But the most important thing is for a man to have personal dignity. The greatest, the greatest immorality is to 
acquiesce to intimidation from anybody. You can stand up for your race. No one's opposed See, to that. Come every time a white person stands up for his race, he's labeled as a hate monger because he wants I don't to think so. white race. I don't think so. Well, I stand, I I stand up for the white race. race. And everybody here says, I hate you. You don't know me. These people don't know me. I, I know love you. my race, and I, I am know you. to destroy anybody I know else. you. I know you. When you would revere a man like Adolf Hitler, when you would revere that, I know you are slime. even agree with you. What don't they agree with? I'm they sure. believe that excellence should win. Black, white, yellow, brown, red. Well, if you're the best, action. you should get it. What's affirmative action for? Affirmative action. Affirmative action. Affirmative action. Don't, you, don't you tell me, me, you little... is a guy raped a woman, yeah. all right, yeah. and yeah. stabbed yeah. the husband 23 times, tied him up, and made him watch it. Now, I don't give a damn if the guy's white, green, yellow, or purple. Why did he's, he so He's a total... suggest something? May I suggest we throw their ass out of here? Uh, why? Before you even start, before you even start the fight, you have three strikes against you. Don't give me that First, crap. Don't this give is a me free that country. Crap. Huh? If I walk in with a bottle of arsenic and it's I set it on a table... It's a free country, then if I walk in with a gun and blow no, your brain... if I walk in with a bottle of arsenic, and I say to any of you, I say, I say, this is poison. Don't use it. This is poison. Don't use it. Don't use it. And I walk out of the room, and you're an adult, and you pick it up and you use it, I'm sorry, this is a free country and there's no way to blame anybody except yourself. Oh. I've heard you sociological you engineers stop it for years getting into the talking school. about education. You stop it from you going to the mother. You stop it from already. going to the kids. You screwed it up. You don't want to get any more. You're in fact trying to get it up. you know. Marijuana is a drug. Marijuana kills. Marijuana oh, addicts. And let me tell you something else about marijuana. I went through the marijuana hey, pal, wars. Let me tell you something, pal. You open your mouth like that again, I'll yank your beard off. And all those heroin users, cocaine users, say, oh, you, you sit there and say, come on. You don't know what let's, the hell you're talking about, John. Let's look at history. Up there, 
Let's look at him. You don't know what the hell's uh, going on. We'll be back in a minute. I want to talk to them. There are some answers. Why the hell don't you come up with them? Actually, that's a U.S. Department of Justice figure. Well, if you took the time to do some research and be less rude, you'd find out that the Justice Department said... He's entitled to his opinion. He's quoted nothing but lying facts so far. But when he gets Justice Department facts, he doesn't like those. Because Mr. Meese gave them to us, huh? You Don't done? you try and change my rudeness. My mother couldn't. Mr. Are you done? Yes, sir. I don't, I, Josh, I don't, I don't want to gang up on you. I want you to give your facts and figures and let them become the jury. Go ahead. It's really full of you. Is when it swell of me? Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have lost one of our great wimpish liberal guests. <laughs> and the newspapers will write that I kicked him off the show, but he didn't have the guts to stay on the show. He left, and our audience saw it. The audience saw it. Now, I was going to ask Mr. Sugarman some questions, all right? But obviously, he does not have the strength of his convictions. Let me ask you then. Remember, it's called Ritalin. It's supposed to be a very normal thing to give your kids. It sucks! And we're coming back! Stay with us! Well, you know, it sounds very dramatic, and it sounds very sounds good. Sounds dramatic! People are dying! People are dying! Oh, the hell are they not dying? They're, they're dying! This mother's child almost died because decided that he belonged on 30, 40, 70, 95 milligrams of Ritalin. Men, because of their, I think, feeling of inferiority. What? Yes, I know it. Okay. You, you believe that men think they're inferior to women? Do you believe that? I think they feel that way. <laughs> This isn't a comedy show. We're I supposed know. to be He saw that a slimy teenage punk got the electric chair and fried. What have you done? Write your little theses? Have your little committee? What I've done, you what I've done, done, what I've done, is I've been out there opposing this and fighting you for the right. For the right to excuse you at your little That's on you. I've been out there fighting for the right. Yeah. Because, because, sorry, because people because from the you lunatic guys things the like you don't know how to, uh, haven't realized yet. That let the me way tell you, let me tell you about the lunatic fringe, pal. We're lunatics because we've been putting up with you elitist intellectual bastards <laughs> for yeah, so long who don't make any but sense. Now, don't make any sense. Now, you get committees, you write reports, and you don't do... Yeah, okay. I mean, my daughter has to have my permission to get her ears pierced, right? Well, At 15. I, I don't think we're concerned At about 15, ears pierced. At 15, she does, doesn't about, she? We're talking about She doesn't have crimes. to have my permission to get we're an abortion. Where the, the hell is my best of authority? I have none. I have none. I have none. I have none. That's bull. That's bull. Well, you should be no, that's, what, that's what you guys have been doing. That's what you guys have been doing, Phil. That's what you guys have been doing. For 40 years, you guys have been doing that. For 40 years, you bloated us with all your liberal crap. It hasn't worked. It hasn't worked, pal. I'll tell you who commits. I'll tell you who commits the murders. Who commits it? The people who commit the murders are the retarded, the poor, the oh, innocent. Oh, come on. Those are the ones that commit come the murders. On. Those are the ones You're that so commit the murders. You're so full of crap. Get your statistics right. You've been, you've Get your, been we'll go to the audience. They know a hell of a lot better. Stand by. Let's go. Reverend Farrakhan will be watching this show. He knows he's invited to do a one-on-one -on -one with me. Nobody will bother us, Minister, just you and me. Let's see if your mouth is as big as your guts are, and your guts are bubbly. Yeah. 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 The, the problem is, it's not an inability, Steve. No, it is. No, it isn't. You're so insecure, no, you wouldn't want to go heads up. You I'll need go heads up. White Jesus. Anytime. You need food. Anytime. 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 See, just the same way. You have a need to stand over me to talk to not me now. Not at all, Pat. There we go. Here we go. Sure. Now. I can go now. out of with anyone. If you and I, I'm not going to go out. Why are you hard on? Sure, I ain't on no 
not at all. But if you and I were to go out and ask other white people to do just what you're doing, we would start a human revolution. I don't believe Now, are you willing to I go out? Are you're you willing to go right out because and I the believe, PDA white supremacy? Yeah, uh, let's get off the white supremacy, black supremacy crap because well, you it's see, crap. Because you Nobody can't throw is supreme. it out because it's still Nobody there. is supreme, pal. Well, if they Only are, God is supreme. No question. And he is no what question. you imagine him in no your question. mind. If God, God is music, supreme. Is it music or racist crap? Stay with us. Sure but why would you try and keep white people from knowing hey, I'm doing, what's I'm going on? I'm on tour right now. And the reason I asked you is this. The Beatles got most of their stuff from black music. I don't care about the Beatles. I don't care. Elvis got most of his stuff from black music. That's right. White people do a good job at expressing black thoughts sometimes. Yeah, but it's like if we want to keep so it So why do you fall into the sucker so bit of getting involved in the whites and the blacks against each other? Like he says, why can't we first be Americans? What is this crap? I don't want to be American. Be you don't want to be American? Oh, no, no, you don't want to be American? You don't want to be an American? Huh? What do you want to be? I want to be a black man. That's what I want to be. You want to be a black man? That's right. You mean to be a black man, you've got to jump up like that? That's right. Uh, that ain't right. white man. That's not a Rolex, pal. That's a What's that? What's that? Gucci. Uh, Gucci. Yeah. Nice Italian designer. Thank you. Was he black? No. How come you're wearing his watch? Because I want to. I got to wear that right. show time. I don't care if whoever watch out bright is going to be made Stay by Stay over there, man. pal. Don't hover over me. I don't want to hover over there. Yeah. There's your seat there, pal. Right there, Schooly. Grab it like a nice man. My parents came here on the slave ship. And let me just say something. Hold on. How the second. hell old are you? My, I said my parents. I can trace my ancestry. <laughs> my parents came here on the slave ship. That's number one. And secondly, I like How your white long ago did your parents come here on the slave ship? As I could trace them, they came over here approximately in 1555. That makes you about 400 years <laughs> old yourself. <laughs> okay, I agree with you. Why? What power are you coming to the table of America with, all right? Oh. To the white oh, people, oh, yellow oh, people, you know, brown come, people, or black come, people? Right. Come, Will come, you shut up? We come with the value of righteousness. America. What the hell is America, the value of righteousness? America ain't never been righteous. Thank you. Who's up? How do you feel about that, Julie? I'll run this damn show, and I'll keep the people going. Now shut up or get the hell out. Right. How do you feel about it? Thank you, this isn't Oprah Winfrey. You have a dog? A uh, cat? sort of. You ever talk to them? Huh? You ever talk to them? I mean, you know, like, here, pussy. Here, pussy. A dog? Huh? A dog? My dog's name is Pussy. <laughs> Well, I but think see, I, I think you're a little misguided there because really? you don't. Have you done the research on terrorism? Have you, you done any reading about terrorism? You don't no. know me, Jack. No. Have you done so any don't any tell me what terrorism? I'm going to do. Have you done any reading about terrorism? Can you dig it? Have you done Can any you reading? Read? Have you done any reading? You can't read. You can't read. Hey, you've read zero. You've read hey, you read zero. You read nothing about terrorism. You know what? Nothing. You know what? You can just use a foul mouth. That's why you like Michael Jackson. You look like a jerk. You look like a jerk. If you're gonna grow a beard, grow up. Proper beard. Uh, <laughs> All right, now let me ask you. I understand you were abducted some 20 times by alien beings over 20 years. Now, <laughs> when did you first sign up for this frequent flyer plan? Huh? Mine started at age seven um, and apparently went on till age 26. You started flying at age seven? I was pre I was uh, like precocious youth, and went on until you were 26. There were yeah incidences from seven to eight, 11 to 13, 17 to 19, and uh, 25 to 26. Okay, I understand now that you were subjected to intensive medical examination and experimentation on these spaceships. Uh, uh, what were these guys trying to find out, or these ladies, or these mm -hmm. beings, or whatever the hell they were? Well, it's interesting because they seem to be doing a, a mass genetic experiment. Mass they, genetic. They follow you through your growth. They they follow you through your growth and they study the body and they study its changes they take skin grafts I mean, from the age of seven to 26 they take you in strip you down naked and lie on a table and examine you they seem to be from what they say they seem to be very interested in um, what they say is reproducing life and they need skin grafts pieces of hair pieces of the brain to uh, to so do, do it do they take a piece of your brain <laughs> uh, it appears that way <laughs> No, really, I, I don't mean to be That's... rude. Well, yes, I do mean to be rude. Go ahead. <laughs> be yourself. <laughs>
Greg, I understand uh, that you think the devil is much closer to home. Where do you think he's residing? I believe that the president, Ronald Wilson Reagan, is the Antichrist. For many of you, this is the first time you've heard um. that his middle name is Wilson. But Ronald contains six letters, Wilson <laughs> contains six letters, Reagan contains six letters. Giving you the president... Like you, have, you almost look like you have that Michael Jackson disease there. <laughs> um, tell them who you are. My name is Greg Gordon. No, who you claim to be. Oh, I claim to be the second coming of Christ. <laughs> well, wait a second. Now, let's not laugh. Now, you claim to be the second coming of Christ. When did you find that out? In 1979. 1979. How did you find it out, Greg? I took a trip. I took an acid hit and... Uh, <laughs> Second coming of Christ, would you stand on that water? Huh? Let me see. Give it a try. Give it a try. Didn't make it! Didn't make it! Some people have gone so far as to accuse me of uh, being a little off. And you know I'm okay. Bombers and all those missiles. Boom! That money. You pay those. You pay those. You say, you can it's see wrong, it's wrong, what a second Just like she had just talked about. Just like she had just talked about. You see that welfare and help family, she's fed and brought families up together. Yeah, why is the cutoff the bomb? 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 Why that they could afford to live in, working at the minimum wage, have been put out onto the street. Now, guys like him want to finish the job and put them in Potter's Field. I Let never, them die in the I, street. I, I That's never his said, solution. I never said anything about it. Well, I, what I, is your solution? As, as you may have heard three minutes ago, I advocated that the socialists get out of the city and they let those 300,000 apartments reaction, on the market. Reaction, reactionary now. Well, what about those 300,000? Well, let me ask you a question. First of all, there what aren't 300,000 empty apartments. 200,000 units, There's, all right? Units available in New York City that are run down, that are maybe, beat up. Maybe. No, not but maybe. But when homeless people are... go in, let me set you straight about what's called oh, homeless. Oh, set me because you what, look homeless. What's right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me set you straight about what's called home steady. It's what you were alluding to Please, before. Sir, just breathe. <laughs> If you're going to make fun of me, Mort, I don't have to I'm be on making, your show. You don't? Good. No, good you night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Six weeks you've been calling my producers and telling them that this guy was a no-good, lousy, Nazi bastard. How come you turned chicken when you got up there and didn't say diddly squat? I didn't turn chicken. Yeah, well, then how come you are chicken? <laughs> All right. You called the guy to my producers. You said you couldn't wait to get at this lousy, Nazi bastard. I was told certain things by... People. You call people lousy Nazi bastards because you're told certain things by people and be allowed to check it out I read certain articles. I went to check it out myself. I was also How told... long ago did you go to check it out? I went up with one of your producers up there. That was the first time you checked it out? I went there opening day. I found one image, then I found another image with the producer, and then I went up a couple of times afterward, after I was warned not to go up again. Who were you warned by? I was warned by people in the industry. Name them. Uh, a couple of people that work for Jerry Braun. Name them. Name them. I'm hearing a lot of loose lips. I'm hearing... What? What? 
Your producer asked me not to go up there again. Jerry Broad, staff, by a guy by the name of Ronnie asked me not to go up again. Did they tell you why? They Andy? said it was a put on. Hey, Andy, come here, let me see you. Let me introduce you to Andy Regal, my producer. I know who he is. Did you tell him not to go up there again? No, I did not. That's... Stan's worked for me for three and a half years, never lied to me. And you look at him and say, that's bull... I say you're a chicken... You're gone, sir. You're gone. I told you I don't like you. You're a Fine. I said I don't like you. Get out before I rip you out myself. I have never used drugs in my life. I'm currently attending school. I'm a straight-A student. And I have never done anything immoral in my job. I don't so much as sell a kiss for 50 cents. That's commendable. That's commendable. But when you show your, when you show your to the public, that's immoral. Senator, how much self-control do you have? Can you look at a woman's breasts without feeling a need to jump on her and rape her? Do you have that much self-control? I can look at you and not want to have anything to do with you because... I know where my morals belong. And not that I'm against sex. I got seven kids. Okay? I got seven kids. And I lost, and we lost three. But just because I see a woman's boobs exposed doesn't mean that that's going to get me hot and bothered. Are the genitals the only part of the body that needs to be covered? Isn't saying that they're the only part that needs to be covered kind of like saying they're the most important part? Some Are they the... more important than your brain? More important well, your than brain your brain is covered, isn't it? And so is your heart covered. Are you exposed then? You expose your heart? They're inside exposing... my skin. Okay, then your dress, your book should be inside your dress. <laughs> and I prove that women who show their bodies and sell their bodies are not pigs, and I'm sick and tired of guys like you calling us bimbos. Hey, sit down, you fat I'm bitch. Sick. Listen, you <laughs> sit down. The pigs, they're the degenerates and the perverts. They create the listen, 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 demand. We are the This supply. is the crap it is she's the in. That want Dominant sex. The men want perversion. Where she can beat the, the hell out of men. Sex. I'd love you to try to beat me, honey. I'd show you how to kick the living <laughs> out of a broad. Right? And don't That's you, and don't you ever claim you do this in the name of God. Yes, because he is not a slut. You are. And I... him, God didn't make sense. Would you God give it made to man, him? and from the lousy rib of man, he made a pig like no. you. No. And he goes, Kelly, will People. you shut up? One Get time, more. you're yes. a man hating bitch. Get him. Get him more. Get him more. Macho man, honey, honey, honey. Let me tell you. Now go. Morons! 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 Kelly, you are morons! Kelly, Kelly, morons. Kelly, we might be morons, but I'd have to drink a case of doers before I for you. You can't even get more. Honey, she's right. She's right. She's right. Looking at her, I slunk. Because you're gay! I just like to say that I just like to say I do go to go-go bars and I do appreciate women like the one in the center there. I do. Of course. But what you I don't appreciate that. that you, you don't, don't like me. You don't like me. You don't like me because I stick up.
for my rights. They want, they want submissive women that give up. They want women that give them. That's what they want. I won't do it. Security, uh, security, sweetheart. You sit. Sweetheart, why you got that microphone near your mouth? Do what you know how to do best with the microphone. Can I star you in my? He's speaking sodomy. Sodomy. She is, in my opinion, in my opinion, a pig, a tramp, everything that's bad. And that's too bad because she's probably a nice lady. Hey, look at that. You defend his right to do that? No. Defend his right to Would you to defend do his that? right to maintain the confidentiality of a patient who came in and said, Doctor, I have an AK-47, as we know happened recently, and I'm going to use it on some kids in the schoolyard. Should he keep that confidential? How do you know he's only blowing off steam? And you're How the hell do you know he isn't only blowing off steam? You don't. So do you take a chance on a bunch of kids dying? Are you that kind of scum? Well, no. You see kids die for well, it? Well, well first, according to you, I am. Second, uh, yeah, but before what chance. You're talking about chances as opposed to I'm talking to about the chances. Effect. I'd rather have a chance that it wouldn't happen than a chance that it would. And it won't happen if you lock that bubble brain up in a rubber room. And now, a dozen of those other bubble brains and try and get treatment and you've got a dozen cases like that so you got a dozen cases that did it so we've got but more you got one that you saved that did oh so we right? saved one and we come got a dozen on killed. you come talk on. about logic man where'd you get your law degree from a paper factory because they, because the government wanted it to look like a real dime made of silver like this one because when the government introduced these into circulation the silver in the 10 cent piece was worth more than, than the coin. So the government took copper, coated it with nickel, put mill marks on it. I'm not going to ask questions more, so you better pay attention. Now, the government coated copper with nickel to make it look like silver. And when the government introduced copper, you gave up the silver, and the government sold your silver for more than the face. And the government made of copper, the government would say, well, this small piece of copper was worth more than a big piece of copper. And the public would say, well, how can a small piece of copper be worth more than a big piece of copper? So what did the government did? So, so, no... It's not a commercial, no, but it can't be any no, worse no, than no, this. No, no. So, the truth you know what really bothers me is i sit here and i look behind this young man and i see young kids look and they're smiling and they're laughing and they think that this is funny sorry son this is this is damn serious this is life and death 
Okay. Your son when your die, freedom imposes on my freedom, fat boy, my freedom coming first. And if you leave that out, it's not the same. If you really want to punish Work. someone, you're not that tender. Holy shit. Question. This is as sick as anything I've Mort. ever heard. <laughs> Mort, I mean, that's sick. These people, they got to be crazy to spend $200 to get beat. They can come over to my house, I'll do it for free. <laughs> Consenting right. adults are so parents of little so kids. Have a I tell white welfare mothers to go get it. White welfare mothers get it before Why don't you shut up and let us Welfare money spent right back into the systems in the neighborhoods. Let me tell the you something. The arms race money Let me tell you something. You want a separate state? state? You want a Did separate you hear state? What I say? You want a separate what state? Shut up. I'll tell you, I'll give them a separate state. Let's join some garbage scouts together and send this son of a bitch out on one. Because I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you, huh? I'm going to tell you. If you don't... Hey, you shut up, bad boy. Hey, you shut up. Don't stand up for me, punk. You better sit down, boy. I'll shut you down. Don't think I won't. And let me tell you something. I don't care if you're the last woman on earth. You couldn't bum a date off of me. I got a dog at home. I can shave his make him walk backwards look better than you. Anybody gets it. You don't care how many kids run up $1,000 talking to this piece of garbage. And this guy sitting beside him, he's a freak. He needs to be locked up, put away, because our kids are walking the street. And you're coming up here telling me that you are defending. They got a right to do this. No, they don't have a damn right to do it. And if I catch him out on the street making freak phone calls around my daughter or my son, yeah, I'm going to beat the hell out of him. Yeah. No, I'm not him, me. You what do you say, old man? I think if you're out collecting criminals, the least yeah, you can... Yeah, I'm collecting them. The I least hope you got a charge against you. The least you can do is act within the law. I'm within the law. Not by going out and beating people up because you I don't like what they do. I am not beating nobody up. Yeah, defending people like this. I would defend people like this much quicker than I would spend my hard-earned money going to wrestling shows that are all rehearsed before well, the first guy well, gets on. See, you're a liar. You're a liar. I'm not going to get in there with you, but you're a liar. You're a barefaced liar. And that ain't my opinion. I'm making a statement. You're a damn liar. No, not a barefaced yes, liar. Yes, you're a liar. I've had a beard for 30 some odd years. Oh, turn the freak. You're a freak. You're a freak and they're a freak right here. Well, that is vinyl. It's all man-made. Okay, everything's man-made man -made. except for your suit. Except for your suit. Ah, zip it. I'll run the show, puke face. <laughs> Let me, again, I want, <clears throat> I want the good doctor to continue with this. I want to ask the doctor a hypothetical here for just a second, all right? Knowing that blacks are eight times Normally, as likely... Normally, I don't see what a hypothetical question. You know me, why? Because... Doctor, for Christ's sake, let me ask the question, will you? Let me ask it. Then tell me you won't deal with a hypothetical. Something. White people call black... And now black people call blacks who like white people Uncle Tom. I mean, let's hear it. Can I offer a solution? No! You can't offer crap! I will. Okay, go ahead. Go! I was just going to say, let the people vote. I want to say this. Let, let the people in Yonkers... Get this, this bum off here, will you? Stop. Can I say one point here? Where'd you get this sanctimonious Stop. ass from, huh? <laughs> Wait a second. I'll run this, zip this out, show. You shut up until I come to you. Now go. Thank you, Mark. Yeah. You sound like a negative psychic. People who project negative ideas to try and make them work, all right? I think they, I think they suck. <laughs> you also, you also made the prediction that I would be very sick today, didn't you? All I was doing... Did you or did you not? Absolutely. You did. All right? Mm -hmm. I fell and almost... And bleep this out. I fell and almost busted my leg because of your negative bullshit. All right? <laughs> Let me 
can't wait, speak for myself. I, I when, shed when tears moon, over it. Wait a minute. Let me, let me ask this, Louise. Because you did this twice, and I thought your manners would get better at 89 than 88. My manners in 88 were let gentle, sir. Let me I took nothing but crap from you. Well, you you made all right kinds. You, you made finish. all kinds of promises about what you could deliver, sir. Is, you is couldn't deliver. You couldn't is, deliver. Is his name Stephen Pagano? Don't talk you about who couldn't can't deliver. Can't you couldn't deliver. You couldn't deliver. You couldn't deliver. Tell me about this. Tell me about this. You promised. I had him. I had him. You chickened out. You chickened out. That you is. were a coward. You were a coward. Come here. Come here. You were a coward. You had Stephen Pagonis and Dennis Quick. We had And we the wouldn't problem. show. Because if you lie, I'll walk right at it. Because you know that I called you ten times. Let me get back to this. Don't touch my hand. I'll break your neck. You won't break anything. You won't break anything. You won't break anything. Leave us both alone. Leave us both alone. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. I called your producer. He's standing right there and he has to admit. I called him nine times and he said Pagonis kept changing a date. I called myself and asked, waited to deliver uh, to Juana Brawley. Did I not call you? Al, you shook hands with me on the steps of That's City right. Hall and told me the next day no, Tawana no, 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 Brawley no. And would we, be here. And you castigated me, me that Excuse on my me, last appearance. You me. Tawana Brawley would be here tomorrow. And I said, no, Tawana At my last appearance. No, wait a minute. At my last appearance, you said more. True, true or untrue what I just said to you. City Hall. True or untrue. City true Hall. or untrue what I said to you. You shook hands with me. You said, this, this time I promise we made you, you will have Tawana, and no Tawana's been here. But that was before the Pagodas did. Now, what happened to Pagodas? Did I not deliver or did Pagodas not we're have losing, come? We're losing, we're losing you haven't delivered anything you're, you're, you're at this you're point that I know question, about. Pagoda... My name is Bob. Maxine asked the question before of Reverend Al, and he avoided the answer. I hope he'll be a little more forthright with me. <laughs> Reverend Al, would you please tell us who does your hair? <laughs> What was this? You mark are so about? full of it, sir. I can I, smell you. I can smell you. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna well, talk. Let me respond. We're gonna talk to the to that, CIA so agent. You shut your no, face! Shut that. your face! You traitor! You traitor! You who traded on the United States! You traitor! You traitor! Well, Lord, I'm ashamed of you, actually, because. <laughs> That's you got this, it bumping, baby. <laughs> you and this liberal audience. I, I watched Phil Donahue, and at least he gives. <laughs> I guess we're good. Look at it. Everyone has to be someplace, all right? You got a meeting out of your hand, Mort, because you, at least he gives both sides of the issue. You're you're totally biased. You get them against these two these men that that understand what's going on. And we should we should cut off aid to the Contras and 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 start a diplomatic Turn process. Turn over the commies. No. Turn over the commies. Diplomatic process. <laughs> you don't start a diplomatic process with your hands tied behind your back, sonny boy. Grow up. Get the shot off your nose. Grow up. I, am I glad? Am I? Shut your mouth, pal. Shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. The nicotine in their in their urine. And you so have tracked this. You and you have tracked this and found that people who died from lung cancer died from someone else's smoke. You can tell me that emphatically. There are 16 can studies. Can you tell me that there? emphatically? Yes, I am. You know you're a liar. That's the same. That's the same scientific bullshit that you guys have been passing around for years. You can prove that smoking does not do anything for your health. I'll guarantee you you're right on that. Well, Mort, you can not prove, you can't prove my cigarettes bother and give anyone else cancer if they don't smoke themselves. Well, if you're dumb enough to believe that, I hope oh, you're you. stupid enough to say it. You're stupid. Sure, what you about the new cigarette that's coming out that is smokeless? As you said before, it's also bullshit.
There is no such thing there as a smokeless cigarette. There is such a thing. Cigarette. I have smoked it, sir. All right? Oh, you have? I have tested it, have sir. Have you analyzed you the who are so coming out of it? God smart. Don't have a brain in your head. There's no smoking. Have you analyzed it, Mark? I'm not a scientist. Are you? Yes, You're I not am. even a good lawyer. You're nothing. I don't. Hey, pal. Hey, fat mouth. I don't back down from nothing, especially from that's piled that high. Hey, knock off the drums a second. Wait a second. You know, I'm, I'm going to put this little baby out here, right? Because my guest thinks breathing secondhand smoke is going to kill him. All right. Oh, now, tell you what. If a laboratory rat smokes enough cigars, it'll start looking like uh, Groucho Marx. But in deference to Mr. Banzai's stupidity, uh, I have chosen not to smoke tonight. As long as we have a government that says smoking is addictive and causes cancer on one hand, collects $28 billion in taxes with the other hand, I say we got a government that's blowing smoke up the ass of the American people. Smokers' rights. Kiss my butt, government. Are you okay, then? No, I love it. It'll Come bother on. me quite a bit. Uh, and I'd really appreciate it if you didn't smoke. Kiss my ass. We are... we, we understood... We understood that you had promised not to smoke on this program. Is that what you understood? Did you speak yes. to me, sweetie? We Did you speak to, to me? Did you speak to me? We couldn't get Nobody to you. speaks to me or speaks yeah. for me. <laughs> so, that's why I'm being polite and holding it over here. Holding I'm it being over there is no keeping, good. It's gas. I'm holding it, it over here. It spreads 100% through the air. No, it doesn't. It's you're you're it's such a liar. No, no, I would liar. have to stand or here gas. with every person in the room smoking or for gas. 216 hours before you inhale the equivalent of one cigarette. You I phony. Didn't, I didn't say that. The gas spreads 100% because air is a gas. Did you come so over let here? Me tell you, you probably have beans bro. tonight. That gas will kill me. No, too. that's, that's huh? a little different gas. I've never seen Mr. Big Mouth. I've never seen you go to any of them. We don't get paid to go. The reason you don't see Mr. Big Mouth yeah. is I served 12 years in Washington, Give sir, and watched the phonies like you me. and the phony congressmen take money from everyone and do well, and that's what you do. do I've been about. down there for 12 years. I've done plenty about it. Come on, I've down tried to testify. save lives, too. Come on, down testify. testify. You can't invite me to testify because you're not a member of the committee. Go but on. I can get your I've silly ass prepared. before a committee. Let me hey, tell you, sir, my, my ass might be silly, but it doesn't floor. look like your face. I'll be back in a minute, and we'll talk to these scumballs. Gobbins can't tell me he wanted to burn the American flag in front of me. No, he's I'm not going to burn over the What happened in the name of the American flag? I'm not going to burn over the flag. He says he wants to go. No, he just told me he wanted to burn the American flag. 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 They weren't going to burn the American flag. One of us were. One of us were. Yeah. 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 I would have kicked it. I would have kicked your f out. A bunch of gentrification. A bunch of young people. Working people were resisting gentrification. What you doing here? That's what you're doing here. This is a false image. Okay. I'm going to call the show off if you don't shut your mouth. Both of you. We have respect for the poor people who are fighting for hope. We have respect for people who fight for Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Father, don't turn people who are agreeing with you because you won't let other people talk. Let this guy talk. All right, just relax for a minute. Mr. Gould, you've got two minutes. I'm going to ask you one time to shut up or get the hell out of here. I think you're full you of crap. Me. I don't think you know. All right, I think you're full of crap. Well, then tell, tell me. Him. Tell me, stop now. Tell me. Wait a second. Wait don't a second. Tell you're me. not on your you bench now, fatty. You tell me. Tell me. You don't have any robes on. You're loud, Tom. Yeah. You can yell as much as you want, but I'm going to get a smile out of you. What? I believe that a woman has a right to self-determination and to determine what happens with her body. Uh, how, 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 why do you say it's her body? It is her body. It is not her body, sweetheart. Fifty percent of them body. are born with balls. Calls us. <laughs>
carrying a fetus. You've never known anyone's balls to carry a fetus. What? I've never known anyone with balls to murder one either. What? I knew she was in trouble the minute you called her sweetheart. And I'll tell you something else. Why? You don't like the word sweetheart? Listen, don't call me sweetheart. What do you want me to call you? No, you shut up, Jack. No, you shut up. You, so, you talk like a man with a pit. Mm -hmm. Well, if, if I've got a paper, baby, you can wipe yourself off. Ah, shut up. This young man's name is John. Hi, John. Hey, what? How are you, pal? John Don't... got hit by a car. Mm -hmm. And he went into the hospital, and they didn't think he was going to survive for 24 hours. But the doctors he made it. thought that. Right. He but he made die. it, and he so was... So he was going to die? He was in a coma. Yeah, they thought he was. But he... Did he's... they come to you and ask you to do anything? Uh, no, not then. Okay. Let he... me ask you a question. Go ahead. You're confined now to a wheelchair. Yeah. Would you rather be dead or in the wheelchair? I'd be nice to be walking like I was. Right. But would you rather be dead My, or in the wheelchair? I can't. All right, but you'd rather be yeah, in this wheelchair than dead, wouldn't you? Um, depends on the time. Okay, so there are times you get depressed. That's all right. Bless there him. Let him answer were himself. There a couple of times I tried suicide. A couple of times it you tried suicide. Hurt. And it hurt? It hurt well, why real bad. Why did you try suicide, John? Because he had No, please let him answer. <laughs> because I wanted to go back to the hospital. I had the nurses <laughs> talk. I to go back to the <laughs> Question exactly. Scotty, you got to come in here it's with me, babe. Payola. Well, let me introduce Scotty in, all right? Scott, of course, is with was with Anthrax. Yeah. Scotty, yeah. why? Yeah. Let me ask. Let me wait a second. Yeah. Sit for a second. Freedom Sit for you RCA. fat jerk. Sit there. All right. Yeah. Oh, no. Let's get into your heads. Let's get into your heads for just a minute. Pirate. Have any of you thought of doing anything? For the homeless, for instance? We have a song on uh, on our album, State, we have a song on our album, State of Euphoria, called Who Cares Wins, and the whole, all the lyrics are about the homeless problem in New York City. Are you oh, donating wonderful. any of that money to the homeless? We have no oh. idea how to, how to work it. No, no, be nice to this man. Now, he came all the way from New York to bring us these fabulous pictures. <laughs> now, hey, you know what? Honesty, I, I don't want to bother what? you. This, this is really a rotten segment. This is a rotten segment. Those are rotten films. Let, let these guys, let these guys go. It's an embarrassment. Oh, okay, let's, uh, uh, too bad. Shall we go? Should they go? Should they go? Go! Go! Good night, guys. We'll stay, we'll stay. Good night. Go, go. We'll stay. Go. No, we'll stay. Go. We'll stay. Go. 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 I'm sitting up. Thank you very much. Oh, They'll be leaving. They'll be leaving. Go ahead. You got it. There's going to be serious trouble. You better get your hands off them. Where, where are my producers? Who was Michael, come here. Here's, here's one of my producers. Michael Weinberg was responsible for this crummy segment. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's gone. No, no. No, no. 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 Huh? Come on. Come on. I, I, he says you're responsible. Oh, no. no. He says he's responsible. No, I don't. No. Huh? No, it's Andy. Come here, Andy. This is Andy Regal. You guys ought to. He's responsible. Who was it then? Oh, it was David. David, come here. Come here, David. Come here, David. Come here, David. Come here, David. Hey, hey, calm down. You can calm down. Calm down. Okay? Leave them, please. Excuse me. Excuse me. Please. Please. Uh, please. I was invited by you, so not by you. I was invited by I'm the host. I asked you to leave. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. Good news, sir. Good news, sir. Good news, sir. Someone's re 
responsible for this. Wait here. I'm going to find out who's responsible. I'll find out who's responsible for this. Right here, guys. Stand up there. We'll go find out who's responsible. I know. It's back in the control room here. Back in the control room. I'll bet your life I'm going to find out who's responsible. Who's responsible, John? John. I was told you're responsible for putting that segment together. No, it wasn't me. It was that Dave. Was a, Dave, why did you put that? That was an awful segment. Uh, it was I mean, Mike Grinsell's fault. Uh, you, 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 no, why did you put it together? Or, or it was Steve Hague's fault. Steve, Steve Hague. who's responsible? John. John, did you John, do this? Who's that my fault? John, you did it. Who's that my fault? Who's that my fault? Who's that my fault? Who's that my fault? Commercial.